Hey, my name is Jenny Conlon. I live right down the street about a block and a half. And this is our neighborhood park, Corrine Jones. Um, we love it. We come down quite a bit. Uh, my kids love it. What um, we're excited about is the Charleston Parks Conservancy and uh, City of Charleston are wanting to renovate this park, as we are. We've been big advocates of renovating this park because um, for many reasons. One is obviously you see the equipment is rather old, and also um, my oldest child is growing out of this particular park. Uh, so it, as it is now, we have to get in a car and drive to Brittlebank and other parks in the neighborhood. So it would be really nice as well as enticing people to move into this neighborhood to have a wonderful kids and family place to have right here. Hello, my name is Carter Rosen and this is uh, our neighborhood park here. I actually live a block away and our family walks here uh, uh, several times a week, but unfortunately we, we drive our daughter to the Brittlebank Park to use some of the newer uh, equipment and stuff. Uh, so we were very excited to hear when the neighborhood was trying to get a group of people together to uh, renovate this park. Uh, we've had uh, strong support in trying to change this and we're very excited that the Park Conservancy with the City of Charleston has, uh, has come up with a plan to renovate this park. Uh, they've uh, chipped in the total cost is going to be 95000 and they've chipped in 75000 so now we're looking for community support from the neighborhood and uh, the community around here to raise another 20000 I think as of date today, we've reached 25% of that goal, so we're very excited about that. And now we're looking for the final push to uh, from our neighbors and to help, help us uh, see this uh, park come to reality. If you can envision that this whole area here is going to be redeveloped and transformed into our new playground area, which will be separated into two different groups, your elementary group and your toddler group. But uh, there will also be a swing set, which is nice is they're going to have a, a sandbox area, and then there will be a track around the whole perimeter of the park where kids can ride tricycles and bikes and stuff, um, which will be, which will be a, a real big asset for this area. When I came up here 37 years ago, my daughter was just about seven years old, and we lived down there, and on this park she used to come with a lot of the kids that are all grown now, and I saw lots of changes since I've been up here for 37 years. And this is a very nice neighborhood, and we need to keep the park here. And I was so glad to know that we was going to keep the park, and we're going to have to work on keeping it. We're going to have to work and keep it going where people make contribution and we can have our park. See, because we need it. It's a beautiful park, beautiful children of all ages. And so I have my grandkids coming out here now, which I enjoy. All those who are able to give something to Wallace keeping it, or help us give things to raise the money, I would highly appreciate that because we need this park so much. I know I do. I, you know, I don't know how much more time I have here, but I'd love to see it here for my grandchildren, other children their age. Thank you for helping us. I know you will. Go.